hi beautiful people welcome back to the channel i'm so sorry i've been doing a poor poor job this week but filming and i haven't done squat well i did a few things which i'm going to talk to you about in this whip and chat but this is my first video this week i'm so sorry guys i don't want to um be away for as long as i have been but oh life was taking over and it was just bleh. but <laughs> anyways i will talk to you about it so if you would like to know please stay tuned take out whatever you are doing a project you might even fall asleep to my voice i don't mind whatsoever I am working on Gamer Girl by Medusa the Dollmaker and that's a diamond painting from DIY Moonshop. I'm working on the version with three um, special drills so um, I'm really really excited to work on this because it's a fun 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 diamond painting to do. Um, my main project now is still the Fruit Fender by John William Godward from Dreamer Designs, but uh, in the evening, well, it's now uh, almost 9 o'clock p.m., so I'm taking a little break from all the squares and the... Uh, yeah, it is taking up a lot of... Um, brain juice <laughs> so i'm taking a break and doing this whip and chat while working on gamer girl and um, i'm so sorry for people who are ocd but i'm still incapable of putting down straight lines one day i will get a hang of it today will not be that day but anyways what has happened too much too much i think they always say when life throws you a lemon, make lemon juice, or what is it, like like when life throws you a curveball, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I mean it, shut up. No, like, I've been having some issues with my health, and um, you all know that I told you, like, um, I was having, like, this... Uh, cold and I was feeling blah so I went to the doctor and uh, of course she gave me a checkup like uh, for COVID and everything I was negative so nothing to worry about there and she also gave me some antibiotics which I eventually did not have to take because once I got them in my stash um, like my my medicine cabinet um it's like my cold said no no we're not gonna do this and i was very happy because i don't like taking um antibiotics so anyways but i also went to the doctor because i was like four months complaining of uh pain in my arms like some movements would like make really make me cringe with pain like ow and she said mm, i think i will have to um to let you get an x-ray and get that checked out because that's not normal and i was like okay i thought so but i always wait too long before i go to the doctor because last year i was having the same issue with my other arm and uh, so she sent me to the radiologist well i don't know I, anyways i got an x-ray of both my size sides both my shoulders and um yeah so i've got osteoarthritis in both my shoulders and uh what is it called is it tinnitus tinnitus um i've got three parts in my arms where i've got tinnitus and um 
so yeah so i came home and my husband who was telling me that it was all in my head i said here yeah, here you got it all in your head if i complain from something that hurts please believe me that it really hurts so um she's and i said okay what can i do well for the arthritis there's nothing really nothing much that you can do but for the tinnitus you can take some um medication so i started it and uh within a few days the pain was gone and of course i was stupid enough to stop it too soon and then it came all back and more painful than before and i was like ah, i'm gonna die no that's not true i'm not i'm not like <laughs> like that but um yeah, it was painful it was painful and luckily it's not this arm where this is my diamond painting arm it's the other arm so it's just hanging there a little bit like <laughs> to the side and i'm i'm trying to do my best to um work through the pain and yeah <laughs> anyways ah <sighs> getting old <laughs> And then uh, I said, yeah, and I've got some problems with my ear as well. I I told my doctor, I said, I think I'm just falling apart completely. Like, there's always something going on and I don't know what it is. And she, she took a look at my ears and she said, yeah, you've got a buildup of... Um, Oh, I don't know the English term, but there's something the size of a pea in my, that blocks my, my ear canal and in the other ear as well. And there there's some fluid behind my, my, um, oh, the part that makes you hear. I don't know. I, I should have looked up the, the English words for it, but now I'm sitting here just diamond painting and talking to you guys. I'm not going to do... The effort because I'm only on my phone and uh, but anyways my ears are giving me a hard time and um, when it gets worse it, it, it gives me some type of nausea because I'm getting dizzy so I will have to go back and um, get my ear canals clean so I'm I'm <laughs> I'm doing so great <laughs> Oh, but anyways, um, yeah, and actually I'm feeling great. It's not like I'm I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm um, just trying to do my best and doing everything that I'm supposed to do. And if I feel some type of pain, I try to... <sighs> get past it and if I can't get past it I just take something for the pain and there you have it so that's health wise luckily my mental health is still okay so uh yay <laughs> uh, and um well I don't know if you if you listen to one of my previous whip and chats but i was talking to you about um making tote bags out of backdrops for a friend of mine ah, well on monday i wanted to give it a try because i was like yeah well um, I've got some weeks that I won't have to do much of anything so maybe it's the perfect time to try this out I got my sewing machine and um, I changed the light bulb because that was well kaput and um, I tried to see if there was any movement in the machine and the machine just said bleh 
I'm like, oh my god, what now? So I find a video somewhere that shows you how to deep clean your machine and pull everything apart and get it back together and blah blah blah. So I'm like, okay, I will do that because I honestly, I've made a few quilts with that machine but I never deep cleaned it so... Maybe that's a good thing. So on Monday I was like, okay, deep cleaning the machine, pulling it apart, just putting it back together, put in the electricity, well, the and nothing was working. It was like I heard the sound of the trrr and the pedal, but nothing was working, nothing was moving. I was like, what? the F is going on here, I'm getting frustrated, please let this thing work, so I um, pulled it apart again, I said maybe I didn't put in the things as they should, <sighs> and my husband was all the time like, is it working, is it going, I was like, oh, leave me alone, and my kids were, yeah, my kids have school holidays now, so they're at home as well, so they were all, what are you doing, mom, can we have a little, little, I'm like, uh, ah, leave me alone, my sewing machine is not working, so um, I was like, what am I going to say to this poor guy who I promised uh, to, to make those tote bags, I'm like, this is not working, but then I thought about the fact that maybe my light bulb was the problem. So I opened it up again. I just turned on the light bulb, turned it out, turned it in again. And as far as I could go and then <sighs> magically my machine was moving. I was like. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. But it was already late in the afternoon by that time. And I was like, now I'm not going to do anything else to that damn machine. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to do some diamond painting. I'm not going to touch it until tomorrow. So the next day, Tuesday, so uh, yesterday... If you hear something like some that's me vaping I'm very sorry uh oh my god and I see through the camera that my lines are really crooked I'm so sorry don't worry it will all work out in the end anyways so yesterday I'm like okay my machine is is doing is moving again now I need to figure out how to sew but first i had i had this backdrop that was like one meter and three meters across so very big thing lying on my kitchen table and the problem is it's like a this thick pvc material like my my tablecloth but then I think four, th four times as, as, as dense. I was like, this is going to be a, a problem if I have to do one layer and a second layer because it's, it's too dense. So although I've got leather needles on my sewing machine, I said, um, I'm going to try to just leave the inside the inside is plain white pvc and the outer side is the printed uh the printed layer so i was like i'm gonna leave it as b but i have to clean up the white because it was dirty from hanging in those concert halls and everything you know so i started by cutting off the borders and uh i cleaned the inside the whites so like on the kitchen table with a big bucket of soap and uh, okay, I got it cleaned. And then I was like, yeah, now how do you cut up a thing like that 
in manageable size um, squares to make your bags. I was like, hmm. So I started to measure like you've got an LP album. It's like 31 centimeters. I need that and a few centimeters more to make the seams. Like I had it worked out in my brain. It was all going to be K okay. and then um, I cut up everything and I was measuring and, and, and looking for patterns on the internet because I'm like, ah, I don't know how to start. And oh my God. I started to sew on a little piece and my thread wouldn't take it was like I was losing my thread all the time it kept breaking I was like this is not possible so I turned on some yeah you know you have to release some tension you have to make wider space of of um, anyways I'm not going to go into much detail, but it was, it was hell. I'm telling you, it was hell, 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 hell. Um, so I was like, no, 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 not doing it. Sorry, guy, I'm not doing this anymore. It's too much. I'm going to have a heart attack. Um, this is so frustrating. I'm like... <clears throat> done with this but then today I was like oh you know what I will try it again and <sighs> I replaced the thread with something stronger I so I was doing okay one seam I was doing okay like what I did is wait I will show you I've got it next to me <clears throat> Okay, okay, do you want to see? So, this is the type of, see this, how big this is, oh, how thick, it's like plastic, but it's plastic that, oh my god, so I was, I did one, and... I was like, no, this is not going to work because that's only one seam that I um, put inside side out and then folded it inside out. And let me tell you, that was a work on, on its own. So I was like, oh my God, it smells like plastic so much. So um, then I was like, no, I'm going to make another type of bag because that's not good. I have to put in some layers. And um, so far so good. When I was doing the one seam, everything was working. And then when I started to put some layers together, it was just like, no. It kept blocking and I kept losing my thread and... <sighs> that was today so I put it aside and I told my friend like I'm so sorry but this is giving me gray hairs I don't want to do something that is not um, that's not giving me pleasure I'm so sorry but I think we have to rethink this project and maybe do something else with the backdrops. So I told him maybe we could do some tablecloths uh, like for a table that would be awesome and it's washable so you can do that. I will happily lay a seam. That's no problem but for tote bags that's, that's just a no-go. It's too thick, it's too much. So, yeah, and that's why I lost three days of uh, precious time for diamond painting. And also, to be honest, I have financially, I have got a very difficult month. Like, I've got so many bills to pay and I've got 
no excess amount to give to diamond paintings so that will be for next month I hope uh, well that's another thing I wanted to say like unboxings I've got a custom coming but other than that unboxings there won't be too many this month so you will have to bear with me <sighs> But I'm doing good, it's all okay. I'm just going to try to get through these canvases so I can give you guys some reviews. I will do a uh, water house, um, uh, it's, what is it, a water house? history of his life a little bit and the paintings that I would like to do as a diamond painting and I would want to do that for other artists as well those videos don't get a lot of views but I love doing them so I will do them anyways I might do some vlogs if that would interest you but I've got some good news as well. Yeah, a very good news. Today I've got an email saying that they would want to have me as a colleague in the daycare center of the university. So I'm really thrilled. Um, so that means that I've got a job and it's working with children and that's... <laughs> That's actually all I wanted. So I'm really, really pleased. <clears throat> I don't know a lot of the details because they're working on it, because it's from the government. So they are, um, they get their, uh, their money from the government. So they have to see in what kind of contracts they can hire me but um, I'm hired anyways so details will come soon I hope normally I can start very soon but um, yeah I'm, I'm so happy that's so much stress that is poof over and done with because that job hunt is um so yeah that's something that is coming this uh summer or maybe um i don't know normally this summer if not it will be for september <sighs> but i'm i'm really happy i'm so excited so that means that I will have some few some days that I won't be able to film, but I'm sure you will all forgive me <laughs> because you're kind and generous and sweet people. And um, yeah, summer school, uh, summer school, um, summer holidays have started. <sighs> And, oh boy, I don't know what I'm going to do about Marie. She's giving me gray hairs. Really? Like, it's only started and she's already bored with everyone and everything. And I'm like, ah. But yeah, and meanwhile, I'm babysitting the dogs of my neighbor. So I will try to put in a picture there. Um, they have got two dogs. One is a French bulldog. One, hey, he's so beautiful. And one is, I don't know what what type of race it is, but she's so adorable. She's so. That's the one that I've got on my lap. Um, yeah, she's she's absolutely adorable. So they were gone for a week. Normally tomorrow they will be home again. So I went to the doggies every day. 
feeding them and giving them some company. So that's also a reason why I haven't been filming all this time. So again, hope you can forgive me. It is what it is. Oh, through the camera I'm like, oh my god, what, what are you doing, girl? It's so wobbly and, 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 uh, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Really. Ooh, that's too much. Too much of, uh, what have I done? Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. You have to watch this. But I have to multiplace. If not, I would never be able to show you guys some progress. And as I'm a, a YouTube channel, I need to do some reviews now and again. So, um, yep. So, oh, yeah. And that was something that I wanted to ask you. Um, so I've got these two whips and I'm sure I will be working on them throughout the summer. Uh, maybe it will be a bit sooner, but mm, I doubt it. So um, coming September, I would love to do an event, but not. Yeah, listen, not the event like you have to. Uh, fill in a Google form or there, there are no prices. I'm very sorry. Um, I'm right now unable to manage that because for that I would want to have a co-host, which I wouldn't know who wanted to be my who would want to be my co-host. But anyways, but I want to do uh, maybe an event is a. a wrong word maybe it would be like a diamond paint along i would want to start my um painting that my from my previous video my sarah richter and i would want to do a diamond paint along so anything by sarah richter goes so if you want to join that, please do so. Uh, that would be so awesome. Because I know there are more Sarah Richter fans out there. And um, I'm sure we could have a good time just doing some artwork from her. And you've still got time to um, get one of hers well a diamond painting i mean so <clears throat> yeah i think that's that's about it i'm like i'm going to do some more diamond painting well try to because i'm getting very tired and then i'm going to sit in my my couch just watch some just watch some videos and yeah try to do absolutely nothing i'm going to tell you try because me doing absolutely nothing that's hmm sometimes <laughs> anyways i hope you people are okay i've heard the sad news about the fourth of the july shooting Oh, that's devastating. There's so much... Oh, and also, where was it? In Denmark, there was also shooting. What's wrong with people nowadays? Oh, that was terrible. So, um... Anyways, I hope people watching here are having a good day, a good life. I hope to see you in the next video. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every, each and every one of you. And I wish you all the best and all the love in the world. Thank you so much for watching. 
Bye.